One of the biggest problems that amateurs have is hitting a fat shot. And I'm going to show you exactly how a fat shot occurs first. And then I'm going to show you how to get how this wedge will help you eliminate that fat shot. So the fat shot occurs for the first of all, first of all, you feel like you need to open the wedge at times. Well, when you open that wedge, a normal wedge, a wedge that has a normal amount or a normal looking flange that, that, uh, that is supposed to produce, uh, let's say, a traditional golf shot of some sort. This wedge is, is not the most traditional looking wedge, but what it's going to do for you is very, very traditional. What you're gonna wanna do to stay away from the fat shot is basically put the ball farther up in your stance, actually farther up, get your weight um, more towards the left side, but you don't need to open this wedge. A lot of people end up opening the wedge. You don't need to open this wedge. You can stand with it very square, get your weight just a little bit over onto the left side, and then just make a normal golf swing. And the one thing I love about this wedge is that it, it almost produces an anti-fat shot even when you try to hit it fat because of the way this wedge is, is, is made basically. Because of the way that this flange is designed, it's designed to roll right through the turf so that you don't have to worry about hitting that fat shot. You don't have to worry maybe even about hitting that thin shot. So let me try to actually demonstrate how you hit that fat shot and what this XE1 wedge produces when you try to hit that fat shot. So I'm gonna purposely try to hit an inch behind this ball and then I'm gonna show you exactly what this wedge produces when you do that. That was dead fat, I promise you. And that still spun and still ended up in a pretty good spot about 10 feet away from the flag so you still have your chance for par or for birdie or whatever hole you're playing. Now, I got, I got off on a little bit of a tangent there but how the fat shot is created by most players on this shot is number one, you end up decelerating. That's one of the biggest keys. So when you get over the ball and you set up, people end up taking the club back too far for a shot like this. They end up decelerating. They stop all the lower body movement in their legs, which actually this shot does require a little bit of lower body movement. And then when they do that, they end up burying the club in the ground back here. Now, this XE1 wedge is gonna pretty much eliminate that from your game. But you've got to remember to maintain the speed. It's just very rhythmic with this wedge. You don't need a lot of work, very square stance. Like I said, you do not need to open this wedge up. And it goes right in the air, straight in the air every time. 